We're grading Common Court as we do after every Ohio State football game. A little bit different format here because, Andrew, you were the only one who was actually in Ohio Stadium from uh, the Cleveland.com crew for Ohio State's 38-3 to victory over Michigan State. But Common Court had, I think by by most regards, probably the best game of the season. Um, 24-31, 335 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. No other turnovers, um, uh, you know, a, a, a pretty clean game for for Mr. McCord. That's a career high, three touchdown passes for him, um, all coming in the first half. Andrew, what is your grade for Kyle McCord? Yeah, so I've been pretty hard on Kyle McCord for various reasons and various points during the season, but tonight I give him an A. Um, I, I think that he was exactly what he needed to be. And, you know, early on in the year, like when Ohio State played Indiana, when Ohio State played, you know, Youngstown State, and Western Kentucky, and even Notre Dame, I think I graded him on a curve a little bit and said, you know what, he is, he's growing, he's getting better. And I think you have to take that into account. And then you have to, you know, you have to understand that. And I think towards the end of the season, I started to say, hey, look, this is like against Rutgers, I kind of graded him on that curve. And against Wisconsin, I graded him on that curve. Like this should be better by now. And it's not. And, and I, I think tonight it, it was better. And I'm also not going to fault him because Michigan state's awful. (laughs) Like, I'm not going to say that Michigan state is terrible. So you can only give him a beat. No, I, he was good. He was exactly what you needed. I saw, I thought some of his throws were outstanding. The, uh, I think it was the first touchdown to Marv was, was just a wonderful throw. The touchdown throw to Cade Stover was a great throw. You didn't really have any of those. Oh no moments where you kind of throw your shoulders up and panic and think that, you know, the, it's going to end in disaster. So I, I give McCord an a, I think that this was exactly what you needed from a game like this. And I, I mean, I was pretty impressed with him. You know, I, I will throw in the caveat. It was just Michigan State, and I do want to see if this is repeatable. You know, maybe not even next week, but certainly against Michigan. We'll see if it's repeatable. But tonight was, I think, the first step in a confidence-building game that Kyle McCord just absolutely needed to have. And, and I thought he did well. So, a pl- or not A+. plus, Not A+. Plus, a for Kyle McCord. Yeah, I'm, I, it's an A for me, too. And, you know, there were moments that I thought – earlier this season might have been a problem for him. And I thought he handled them better. Like the, the most obvious one is, you know, it's like whatever second series of the game where the pocket starts to collapse on him and he steps up and kind of keeps his poise. And instead of, you know, in the past where it seemed like he would get a little bit out of sorts in those spots here, he just has um, the wherewithal to get the ball to Cade Stover and Cade Stover turns it into a first down when it could have been a sack. It could have been, um, you know, a, a intentional grounding, some of the things that he's run into in the past. I thought that was one example, and it, that doesn't show up the way that, you know, your touchdown passes to Marvin Harrison Jr. do and and things like that. But that's the progress Ohio State and Common Core wanted to see, I think, more than anything this week. And then there were, it was just a more efficient performance. Like, you know, to 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 be averaging whatever it would have been tonight, about, you know, over 10 yards uh per attempt um, is is the neighborhood that he wanted to push back in in matchups like this. I mean, I think it's okay to say, yes, it's only Michigan State, but to go in and put up these kinds of numbers against a team that's in the bottom half of the Big Ten, that's what's supposed to happen. So I don't know that this offense and, and McCord have necessarily always followed through on that, and tonight was sort of a perfect example of it. And I, I think you're right. Like the way we've talked before about how this season – breaks down into these convenient little like ramp ups toward the next big game. And this Michigan state, Minnesota little ramp up into Michigan is important. And I think if, if McCord, you know, Ryan day was talking after the game about how the game is slowing down for him, how much better his footwork has been. I, I wonder sometimes if the ankle injury was impacting the footwork in these past few weeks, but he seems healthier and just played, I thought, more calm and confident out there. And you got the right vibe from Common Accord tonight. And they've got to find a way to, to carry that into Minnesota and then carry that into Michigan. This won't be anywhere near as easy as it was tonight against Michigan. But I think it's all about correcting some habits, correcting some, correcting some 
tw- just tweaking some things that um, that make the difference when you you get on the field for a matchup game like that. Um, so we'll be talking more about Comic Cord this week on Buckeye Talk. Uh, get that wherever you can find podcasts and get the text six one four three five zero three three one five. We were texting till early in the morning after Ohio State's thirty eight to three victory over Michigan State.